and welcome back to Potions Class Bonus. My name is Lucia and today I am going to demonstrate Tassiography, divination by reading tea leaves. I am going to show you how I like to do tea leaf readings. I am by no means a pro at this, but I have tried it a few times and I do understand the basics. There also isn't a right way of doing tea leaf readings. Um, there are guidelines, but people tend to just do what they're comfortable with over time. And that's okay too. But I do have this tiny cute tea leaf reading book to help me out, so let's test it out. So there are two steps to ensure that you get a proper reading. One is to pick the proper tea. So first you want to pick a loose leaf tea that is about medium sized. Leaves from tea bags are hard to read because the leaves are usually too fine and they just clump up. Leaves that are too large won't form the shapes you need to read them. If you're starting out, then plain green teas and black teas are the easiest to read. But I also know people who like to read herbal blends, which is a mix of herbs and spices. Two, pick the right teapot and tea set. The ideal teapot fits about two cups of water and allows the tea leaves to flow free into your cup. So in my case, my pot does block off some tea leaves, but if I feel like I need more tea leaves to read, then I can always scoop some back in after. The ideal teacup is flat and wide with slightly sloped sides, with no designs inside so you can see the tea clearly. Even better if the handle does not go past the rim. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to make a pot of tea. I'm adding about two teaspoons of tea into the pot and half a teaspoon more into my cup. Now I'm going to fill my pot with boiling water and steep for four minutes. Most teas come with brewing instructions, so just follow what it says on the bag. When the tea is ready, pour it into the cup. While the tea cools, think about what you want to learn from the leaves. My question for today is, what type of tea should I try next? So I am going to sip my tea while thinking about my question. So you want to stop when you have about half a teaspoon of tea left in your cup. Now swirl your cup three times counterclockwise to paint your cup. One, two, three. Flip the cup over onto the saucer in one swift motion and allow the tea to drain. Flip it back over and read your tea. So there are a few general tips to help you interpret your tea leaves. Leaves closest to the handle means something that's happening right now. Leaves close to the rim means past events. And leaves close to the bottom of the cup means future events. Tea leaf reading is just like finding shapes in the clouds, but you use those shapes to find deeper meaning. There are lists of interpretations available in books and online, but I like to do my own interpretations because I feel like it's a good way to train your intuition. All right, so let's see what we got in here. So what I generally like to do is kind of just space out while looking at the leaves. So my question was what type of tea I should try next. I guess the first thing I see are continents. Um, perhaps that suggests that I should try things that aren't local. From my direction, I kind of see a horse and it looks like it's about to jump. I also see a crab and it also kind of looks like a butterfly. So I'm just going to quickly Google if there's any brands that have a horse logo on it. So I didn't find a brand with a horse, but I did look up what a horse means in tea leaf readings and it basically meant I had the freedom to make my own choices. So. <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe it's telling me I can just pick whatever the heck I want. How about a crab? Let's see what a crab means. So to find a crab in your teacup generally means 
you get to enjoy the luxuries of your life. It also represents enjoyment and wonder. And since it's also close to the bottom of the cup, it also represents pureness. So what I'm getting from that is maybe I should try a tea that is more simplistic, but also very fancy. So maybe I should just get a high quality green tea or a luxurious simple black tea or something that is more tried and true that everyone enjoys. And according to the internet, seeing a butterfly near the middle of your cup also represents spirituality. So perhaps a tea that works as a spiritual aid. There are so many blends out there that help with meditation, so maybe I should find something like that. So this is what I'm seeing in my direction. Let me know what you guys see. But yeah, everyone interprets things differently. Basically, the answer to my question is to find a tea that is simple yet luxurious and something that will help me with meditation. Well, that concludes your tea leaf reading lesson. Even if you don't believe in this type of thing, it's still fun to see what you get. And it's a great way to get a conversation going. And who knows, you may be surprised with how much insight you get. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week with some magical books. Until then, stay magical.